you tell us what the story <laughs> behind this is? The moment I realized that I really liked Malachi, the first moment was one day I said, could you make me a bowl of cereal? And it took like 30 minutes. And I'm like, what is he doing in 30 minutes? Wait, look, it's milk and cereal, put it in a bowl. But when he presented it to me, he had taken all the pink marshmallows and made it into a little heart in the center of the bowl. I just thought that was the most special thing that anyone had ever done. When I first met her, I was texting her poems. And I'm not a poet, but I wanted to express myself that way. I found out she had uh, three CDs of spoken work that she'd done herself. And she, she wrote seven books and she put on three plays. And I did not know this before I started texting her these corny <laughs> poems. <laughs> I think a second moment that made me realize how I felt was when you cooked for me on our second date. So I did the uh, T-bone steak, mm -hmm. uh, country smashed potatoes, and green beans. Everything in life was just right with those potatoes. And so tears came in my eyes. Did you see the tears in her eyes when, when she had them? I seen her look, she, she looked touched. <laughs> she looked touched and she was like melting. <laughs> I knew at that moment that I didn't want him to cook for anyone else special except for me. That's why uh, I always say she's a keeper. <laughs> because um, where I'm weak, she's strong. And uh, she makes me a better person. He got me. He just, he, he, he melts me. And uh, that's, that's why I keep you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's...